When you bring an image from one document to another or you paste something from somewhere, often the image is too big for the canvas. Have a look at it. So if I press Ctrl or Command A and then Ctrl or Command C, let's go to another document and then let's paste it. Ctrl or Command V. Have a look at it. It's so big. Now I have to press Ctrl or Command T and then adjust it. It's it's absolutely huge. So the problem is, unfortunately, in Photoshop, there isn't a button or a setting that says fit to canvas. So if I press Ctrl or Command T and if I right click on it, there is nothing that says fit to canvas. In fact, Adobe Premiere has it. A lot of other programs have it, but Photoshop does not. So we have to painstakingly manually adjust this and which is a pain. So here's what I did. I created a feature for you. Now all you got to do, let's do that again. Let's delete it. All you have to do is this. Let's bring this image back to this document. And this time, instead of going through all that process, zooming it all out, making it smaller, you just have to play an action. Pics fit to canvas. Just play that and it automatically does it for you. Have a look. Automatically, it fits the image to the canvas. Now, you might ask, Unmesh, where is the download link for this action? You know what? I'm not going to give it to you. Why? Because I'm evil. Just kidding. So, the reason why I cannot give you this action is because this action is location specific. It creates a temporary folder in your computer and puts images there temporarily. So, even if I gave you the action, it might not work for you because your locations, your directories are different from me. So to make it work, all you have to do is to create the action yourself. It's very simple. Just follow along and I'm going to show you how to create this action. So it's simple. So first of all, all you have to do, just place something too big in your image. For this example, we're going to use the simple background and the subject. So once you have the subject selected by pressing Ctrl or Command A, then press Ctrl or Command C and come back to the background and then press Ctrl or Command V. However, before we move on to showing you the technique, let me show you what Photoshop can do though in this aspect. So if you place the image in another way, first of all, make sure that in the Photoshop preferences, Photoshop CC and then preferences on a Windows that would be under edit and then preferences in the generals section. Just make sure that resize image during place is checked so that it automatically resizes and always create smart objects when placing is also checked. Once these two are checked, hit OK. Now, if you place the images this way, if you go to your finder and you drag and drop it over the canvas, it will automatically fit to it. Isn't that amazing? Also, what you can do, let's delete this. You can go to file and then place embedded and then select the same image and then hit place. It will do the exact same thing. Now, this is the closest we can go to fit to canvas in Photoshop and we're going to take advantage of this feature because any other method that you use to copy and paste your images into your document, it's not going to fit your image. Let's say you copied it from another document or maybe you pasted it from somewhere. It's not going to work. So all you have to do is once you have placed the image and it's very huge, as you can see, just hit enter or return. Let's start recording an action. So let's go to window and then make sure actions is checked. So here we have the action. Let's create a new set. So we're going to click on the new set button and let's name this Pix Live, right? So we, because we are creating the action live and it's about fit to canvas. Right now inside of that, let's create a new action with that selected. Let's click on the new action button right there and fit to canvas as simple as that and hit record. Now, the first thing we need to do is to convert this layer that you have brought in into a smart object. Let's go to filter and then convert for smart filters and hit OK. It now converts into a smart object. You could have also right clicked on this one and then converted it into a smart object. That's another way to do it. Now, once this is converted, double click on the thumbnail. This will open the entire image on another document. Now it's time for you to save it or export it. 
I'm going to export it in PST format because that way you don't lose any information. It's full quality. Let's go to file, save as, and now it's time for you to create that temporary folder for this action and do not ever touch that folder. If you do, this action will not work. So I'm going to create a folder in my desktop and we're going to name this. Let's create a new folder and let's name this temp fit. Let's create it. Now select the folder and you can choose any name here. So I'm going to choose the format Photoshop here and let's name this fit to all right or let's name it canvas fit. That's more fun. Canvas fit and hit save. Hit OK right here. Now close this document just carefully. Just make sure that the current open document just close that document and you're back to the previous document. Now in this it's time for us to delete this layer. With this layer selected, the current layer, just delete it. Hit the delete key or just bring it to the trash can. Now, you need to go to file and then place embedded. See if we are going with this. And now in the temp fit folder, we're going to choose canvas fit. Simple. And hit place. Have a look at this right now. It's fit, isn't it? Now you can hit the enter or return and it's done. Your action is finished. Now you can stop the action by clicking on the stop button. Now every time you bring in something that's huge, all you have to do, let's delete this. All you have to do, first of all, let's copy this and paste this. This is huge. Just click on fit to canvas action. Just select that and play it. And it will do automatically everything for you. Now let's try it with another image. So here we have a new image in a new document. You could have made a complete composite and then merged it at the top and then copied that too. That's totally upon you. Whatever you have. Let's select it all. Control or Command A. Control or Command C. And then let's place it. If it's too big, this action will work. Just choose Fit to Canvas and play it. And boom. Isn't that amazing? It automatically fits. Now keep in mind this action will only work if the image is too big for your canvas. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.